I'm asked about the long widget. It's just a silly name. What it is, is it's a removable or expansion appliance. When I ask my mentor, John, John Muir, why don't we expand the lower arch instead of using a, a lower appliance that only moves the incisors? And he said, oh, it's never stable. You, you can't stabilize the expansion. We do that later with a different technique. And I started to look at other clinicians who have been successful with lower expansion. And I found like everyone else that you can't expand the mandible. There's no suture to expand the mandible. Everyone can expand the maxilla because we stimulate the maxilla, but we run into a situation where we've got an enormous upper jaw, but a teeny tiny lower. So my research drew me to the University of Michigan. And at the University of Michigan, Paul O'Grady and James McNamara worked for four decades using a lower expansion appliance called the Swartz appliance. And they got reasonable results. But anyone who's ever worked with the Swartz appliance has always encountered the issue that it's not a particularly stable appliance. It, 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 it doesn't grip. It's, it's very much a removable appliance. So I modified John's appliance and I incorporated the ideas that O'Grady put into his appliances and the methods that he used, which is basically just uprighting the curve of Wilson. But we used it on younger children, younger children with a much softer bone, more adaptability in their growth. And I worked out that I could match that eight or nine millimeters of upper expansion that we got with eight or nine millimeters of lower expansion. I mean, it, it took about nine months to achieve, but we were able to do this. Now, obviously it's determined by the age and the level of um, the actual presenting curve of Wilson, but we can consistently get that result. And because the class that we use, which are Crozat type clasps, we have a removable appliance, which in a young child is almost as tightly engaged as a fixed appliance. When we have a tool and the knowledge base to understand which patients we can use this tool on, all of a sudden we have the capacity to develop both arches in a way that has enormous benefits, uh, airway benefits. We'll go through this technique in our course, Postural Orthodontics. We will show you how to design these appliances we will show you how to instruct your technician to make them, or we'll show you how to uh, liaise with our technician and have them made for you. Quality control is a major concern for removable appliances. These are all issues that we teach and help you grasp in postural orthodontics. <laughs>